Hey there guys, welcome back to Tech Eric. In this video, let us see how to install Metasploitable 2 on UTM the proper way. So the first things first, you need the UTM app and you need the Metasploitable 2. So you can just go to the description box below and you can download both of them. So once you have downloaded, just click on create a new virtual machine on UTM and you can just say emulate. And over here, you can just click on other option and we can just skip the ISO boot for now and we can just say continue and make sure you set the memory to 768 or 512 which is more than enough and we can and just say continue and for the storage i'm just going to give it as 10 gb and continue and if i want to select a shared directory we can just say browse downloads and select a folder and we can just open it so for now i'm just going to clear this and we can just say continue now we can just uh, just set a name to our virtual machine so i'm just going to set it as metasploitable minus two and now we can just save it. So once you have downloaded the Metasploitable 2 from the link in the description box below, you can just go to downloads and over here you can see there is a zip file. So let me just delete these two files which I have already extracted. So let me just do a double click on this. So we have successfully extracted the Metasploitable 2 and it is in a folder. So over here we can see it is in a vmdk file. So we have to convert this .vmdk file to dot qcow2 format so for that what we can do is we can just open terminal and let me just maximize this and we should go to the downloads folder now we can just go to that particular directory so the folder name is going to be modosploitable 2 minus linux so this is going to be the directory name the folder name so let me just go to that particular directory and we can do a let's so we have is we can see vmdk file so we are going to convert this to .qcow2 so if you want to convert a .ova file to .vmdk file what we can do is we can just say tor minus xvf and we can just say the ova file name so for example breakout.ova so by this way you can just i mean ova so by this way you can just convert the vulnerable ova boxes to vmdk boxes and then you can convert that into the dot qcow format so let me just maximize this so to convert the vmdk file to qcow2 format you need this particular command this command is in the description box below you can just copy it and paste it in your terminal and you can just do the copy paste work so over here what i'm going to do is you can see after qcow2 i have put a code in between these code what we are going to do is we are just going to copy the metasploitable.vmdk and paste it in here i'm just going to paste it in here so over here this metasploitable.vmdk file is going to be converted to this particular qcow2 format so i have set this name to meta okay let us keep it as meta and we can just say enter and now over here down below you can see it has converted the vmdk file to qcow2 format so now what we can do is we can just open utm and click on the settings over here and we can just click on operating system and give an icon to our system i mean virtual machine so once you have done this go to qemu and make sure you untick the uefi boot once you have done this come to drive and delete the first drive and click on new and import the qcow2 drive so over here you can see meta.qcow2 is here so let me just click on it and open it so now we can just save it so let us play the virtual version so there we go so this is how to install metasploitable 2 on utm the proper way not only the metasploitable 2 we can also install one hub ova boxes into utm using this way so if you like this video make sure you give a like and also subscribe to our channel see you next video guys